Now let's take a look at the generated test code. You can see that there are two annotations on the test class itself. First, we have the large test annotation, which signifies a test that requires longer than one second to execute. Also, we see the run with annotation, which specifies that this test should execute as a JUnit4 test. The activity test rule is a JUnit rule, which will launch the login activity before starting the test and removes the need to write our own code to do this. Each individual test will have the test annotation so that JUnit can determine which methods should be executed as tests. As we start to look at the test code, we can see that it looks pretty complex. So let's try to break it down. In this case, we have a view interaction that is created for the UI element, which has the ID r.id.username. Later, we will use this view interaction to set the username text to Sam. This seems pretty straightforward, but the code looks pretty verbose. This is due to the usage of the child at position view matcher. Espresso Test Recorder has generated this child at position custom view matcher in order to make your tests more likely to pass and hopefully avoid an ambiguous view matcher exception. Because this custom view matcher adds in so much complexity, Let's just go ahead and remove it. In order to get rid of all these compiler errors, we'll have to remove all references to the child apposition custom view matcher. You might think that our test will now fail. However, that isn't necessarily true. In most scenarios, for simple apps, you won't have any issues from doing this. However, if you do see an issue, feel free to continue using this custom view matcher. Typically, there are more appropriate matchers that we can use that the test recorder can't auto-generate. This is at least the case with the current version of the test recorder. We finished cleaning up our test, and now we can view the entire test on the screen at once. Our code is now much more readable and lives up to the expectation that Espresso code is easy to read and understand. Let's run the test again and make sure it still passes. Once again, Android Studio is installing the APKs with our latest test changes. As we see, even after all that cleanup, the test still passed. Espresso Test Recorder isn't perfect, but it's a great way to get started with Espresso.